Hey guys, so today we're checking out the Rough Country Forged Rear Adjustable Track Bar, fitting all 2021 and newer Ford Broncos with zero to seven inches of lift. Now your track bar is responsible for keeping your axle center, so if you've lifted your Bronco and you didn't get a track bar in the kit and you're looking to correct some of those thrown off suspension angles, this will be a good option to take a look into. This will also be a great choice if you have a bracket there currently, but would rather have a more durable track bar for off-road use and the ability to find fine tune it to your personal setup. This will feature a fully adjustable design between zero and seven inches, so you can perfectly center your axle underneath your Bronco for the best drivability. This will also feature a collar adjustment in the middle, so you can very easily fine tune the adjustment without removing it from the truck, making alignment very straightforward. This track bar will be a lot stronger than the stock one made of a forged steel material with a massive one and a quarter inch outer diameter so you can rest assured that this is not going to get busted up on the trail and will last for years to come. We'll also have a nice black powder coat finish right on top to prevent any rusting or surface damage and it will come with factory style ends and very durable bushings for again a long lifespan out of this track bar. This will come in at roughly $200, which will be a more affordable choice while offering a solid construction and a lot of room for adjustments. Now again, what I really like about this choice is that it has a collar to adjust it as where some other choices may be single adjustable, meaning that you have to remove one end of the track bar in order to adjust it and reattach it while this can stay on the Bronco. This will also have a forged seal construction, making it incredibly strong, like I mentioned before, as to where some of their choices may be made of a DOM tubing. Now, it will come down to your application and how hard you're wheeling your Bronco, but if you're looking for a strong track bar at an affordable price, then this is a great pick. When it comes to install, I'm going to give this a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you about an hour to get the job done with the correct hand tools. Now, at this point, we can head over to the shop and check out a detailed breakdown of the install and what that looks like step by step. So that's going to wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Tools used for this install, half inch impact gun, a hammer, 24 millimeter socket, 16 millimeter socket and 16 millimeter wrench. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to install our adjustable track bar here on our 21 Bronco. So let's get started. So now the first thing we're gonna do is you can see I have our vehicle up in the air on our lift. If you're not, if you're doing this on the ground at home, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you jack it up, you put it on jack stands. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a pole jack underneath the rear here to support it. And then we have a bolt over here and a bolt over there we're gonna remove. Then we can take our, our factory track bar out and then put our new one in. So now I'm just going to take my pole jack here. Now if you're at home, you want to use your floor jack, you can. I'm just going to put some tension on this side of the rear right here so that when we loosen up our track bar, the rear doesn't fall down as hard. And that's probably pretty good right there. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my 24 millimeter on my half inch impact gun and we're going to remove this bolt right here. The nut on the back side is caught into like a cage that it has from the factory. So we're not gonna need a wrench. I'm just gonna remove this. And now that I got it that far, I'll unscrew it by hand. So I'm just gonna back it out a little bit more. Instead of doing it by hand, I'm just gonna take the gun, put it back on, go out slow. As long as you do it slow, it won't tilt or, spin or shift as much. So now that we have this one removed, we're gonna go up here and take the other one out. So again, we're gonna take our 24 millimeter on our half inch gun and get on this one. We'll remove that. Now, once we have that out, I'm gonna be able to pull this bolt out like that. Now we'll be able to remove our track bar. So now I'm just going to pop it up like that and lift it out of the way. Now that we have our stock track bar off, I'm gonna go over our new track bar with you real quick. Um, it's gonna come in two pieces with a sleeve. As you can see, I already have it together. I have our sleeve. Now what this sleeve is going to do is when you get this on your vehicle, if you have a lift kit, you're gonna be able to turn this sleeve and adjust the track bar to get the right width so that you can center the rear of the vehicle. Now, on our vehicle, it's stock. We don't have a lift kit. 
So I have this back to the stock position. We're gonna put it on the vehicle, tighten these two clamps up to hold it in place and get this track bar back on. Now we have our track bar. I kind of have it set for the stock factory length. We're gonna take it and sit it in place. I'm gonna start by putting this up in place up here first. And we already have that one in place there. Now we'll start our bolts and tighten them up. So now we're gonna get ready to start our bolt. But first what we're gonna do is take our nut, slide it back in place here. There's a little carriage that holds it. We'll lift up on the track bar, get it in place, start it by hand, get some threads in it so it starts to go into the nut. And once I feel it go into the nut like that, I'm gonna take my impact gun again, my half inch with my 24 millimeter and run this bolt in. Now we'll go and put our bolt on the other side. Now we're gonna install this bolt into our mount up here. It's gonna come in from the back. And I'm gonna get it to where it just about wants to come through. I'm take my hammer, tap it in the rest of the way. Now this has a bracket on it, which is gonna go into a slot up here in your mount. You're gonna see it. That's what holds it from spinning. Now that we got it pretty far in, we're gonna take our nut, install it onto our threads. I'm gonna take my 24 millimeter with my half inch gun and tighten this one up. Now we'll tighten up the clamps for our sleeve. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take our sleeves since we have it adjusted, I'm gonna take a 16 millimeter wrench and hold this nut on the back like that. Get it in the center. I'm gonna take a 16 millimeter deep socket and my half inch gun. We're gonna tighten this sleeve up first. Once we have that one tight, we're gonna put this one right to the end, just like I did that one. Put the 16 millimeter wrench on the back. Get it square and straight there and run this one in. And now that we have those tight, the sleeve won't move, and that'll wrap up this install. That wraps up this review and install of our Rough Country Forged Adjustable Rear Track Bar for zero to seven inches of lift for 21 and up Broncos. Thanks for watching, and for all things Bronco, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.